Hi, I just want to do a quick video to show this free resource that I have available on my website if you guys are interested. Um, it's a social studies lesson, but you can use it to think about how you would apply it in, in your own context if you don't teach social studies. So this is geography. You go to my website, edtosavetheworld.com, ed, E-D, T, to, T-O, savetheworld.com, and you click on the resources tab up here. So once you click on the resources tab, you'll get this page, and you scroll down to what says Water Crisis on the Nile Lesson Plan. And so the very first one is the PowerPoint. So you click on that, um, and you'll get the PowerPoint. And of course, please edit it because it's already super old but um, there's the water crisis on the Nile lesson plan it goes through some different things where we sort of set up the lesson for students and then we start with a concept attainment so I always go to Google images and put my concept so in this case it was natural resources into images and I so I don't automatically tell students hey we're learning about natural resources I'll say look at these pictures and what do you think is the common characteristic in all of these pictures? And so we have an oil rig, we have a lake, we have some emeralds. Um, and students are looking at this and what they'll say often when I do this, usually around with sixth graders, I'll do this lesson plan. They'll say, these are things that people use that come from the earth. And I'm like, hey, that's a great criteria for natural resources. Things that humans use that come from the earth. Um, and so that's just an example of a concept attainment. So there's a bunch of different images here where you would have kids come up with what are the common attributes of these images and make sure that you've done a concept attainment before you jump into the, the context that we're going to explore. And in this case, it's the water crisis on the Nile. And so when you come back over here to the resources uh, tab on my website, you'll see that there's this lesson plan document that you can download. And so that has um, a bunch of sources that students can analyze. It has a, it's just some maps um, about, of South Sudan, some, some different articles that, that students can read about, about Sudan, about the water crisis on the Nile between Egypt and Sudan. And so um, that's where students are sort of taking in the information about the water crisis on the Nile. They're analyzing the sources and I'm making sure that they comprehend the context before we go, we go forward with that and we have them um, decide what to do about this crisis, this water crisis on the Nile. And so the next one is the graphic organizer. And so once students um, have read all the different sources, we've made sure that they understand the background, then they start to evaluate whether or not um, you know, what the, the three different solutions that we have there for the water crisis on the Nile. And after they do that, so this is probably like another class period, depending on how long your class periods are, um, they think about about what their the big idea is related to water crisis on the Nile. And so, you know, if you look back at the PowerPoint, you'll see what happens among the question, the big question we have is what happens among nations of different levels of power when shared resources become scarce. And so we're asking them then to connect to the concepts and relationship after they've studied this um, super fact rich context. And so once they've done that, they've generalized to, to sort of a big idea about natural resources uh, and its relationship to power, nations, and um, scarcity, we want to transfer to a new situation. And so the next situation that I have, just pretty much in the PowerPoint, you can explain to students or you can go and look up um, sources on it if you want to create more sources to give to students, but that we transferred to the Senkaku Islands in the South China Sea because China and Japan have been fighting over these islands for many, many years and it keeps sort of escalating, then it cools down, then it escalates, then it cools down. Um, and But it's, a, it's an, at least an interesting place where we can transfer understanding about nations and their power um, sort of with conflict over scarce resources. And so the, the steps are all there. I just wanted to let you guys know that it's there if you want to download it or even just check it out to see how you might apply it to your particular context. Um, I hope you will, you will find it useful. Thanks.